Hi, this is a, uh, an answer to a question I get asked all the time. Uh, what do all those chord names mean? What's a major seventh and a minor seventh and a sixth? And a, um, half the problem with teaching music is you've got all these names and you talk to people and they, their eyes glaze over. Um, they're just sounds. We just had to give a name to a sound. And so I'm gonna take a D chord which hopefully at this point you know how to play. If you don't, that's what it looks like. And I'm going to use that to try to explain some of the basic chord names and what they mean. So when we're playing a D chord, when you play a chord, there's three notes in the chord. The D note, which is the chord that's built off that note. Then three notes up the D scale. D, E, the third note is an F sharp. You don't have to know why, but that's what it is, and that's the F sharp right there. And then the fifth note up the D scale, which is D, E, F sharp, G, A, which is right there. So we've got a D here open. We've got an A, which is called the fifth. We've got this D, which is another D note, root note one. And then we've got this note here, which is called the third. That's the F sharp. So that's called a D major chord. All you have to think about majors basically are happy. Now, if we want to make the chord minor, minor sort of is sad. And we take the third, which is this note here, and we drop it one fret. What's called a half step. So the D major drop this to here, becomes D minor, major, happy, minor, sad, okay, so just moving that one note changes the sound, okay, let's talk about some of the other ones, so the other ones you're going to see, this is a D, now, what happens when we take this note and we drop it to here? We get this sound. It's a very sort of airy, pleasing little sound. That's called a major seventh chord. Why? It's called a major seventh because this note is the seventh note up on a D scale. So if I take this string here, this D, which is the fourth string, and I walk up the scale, seventh note. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I put that in the chord instead of this D and you get. You've still got a D on the bottom here so that it sounds like a D chord but it has that sound to it. Now if I drop this note one more time, so that was called a D major seventh. Now if I drop this again, called a D7 or D dominant 7. I'm not going to go into explaining what that is. It'll just confuse you even more. But you can hear the difference. That's a little more bluesy sounding. This is more jazzy. The seventh is a little bluesier. And you've heard a lot of songs that go through this progression. Okay, so that's a major chord major seventh chord, all D's, D7. Okay, now we can take this and drop it again, and that's a sixth, a D sixth chord. Why? Because that's the sixth note of the D scale. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so we have D major. Major seventh, D seven, and D sixth. Now we can do the same with the minors. Here's a D minor. And remember to get the minor, we just took the high note, I mean not the high note, the third of the chord, and dropped it a half step. So you, the guitar.
guitar is confusing because you have to completely re reconfigure your hand to get that one note to change. So your body tends to think that you've done a lot more than you've actually done. Now, what if we take that note that we dropped before to the major seventh and put that in? We get, you're gonna love this. It's a very spooky chord. That's called a D minor major seventh. It's a minor major chord, kind of funny. So D minor, D minor major seventh. Now we drop this one more to here, and we get this. That's a D minor seventh. And then we drop it again, and it's a D minor sixth. So when you say a D minor seventh, the seventh is not minor, the chord is minor, and it's got a seventh in it. Or a D minor major seventh. It's not a minor major seventh, it's a minor chord with a major seventh in it. You're probably totally confused by now, but again, here's a progression you've probably heard. Going from the minor, Seven, minor seven, minor six. There you go. So that's that'll get you started. You can try it with the A chord if you want on your own. The A chord. That's the third. So you drop that to make an A into an A minor. And then the A note, the note that you're gonna raise and lower and lower to make the other is right here. So there's an A, A major seven, A seven, A minor, A minor major seven, A minor seven. Okay? Hope that helped. See you later.